Descript is a popular software for podcast producers. And in this video, I want to have a look at exporting audio from Descript and how to solve problems that sometimes come with it. Hi, it's Mike from Casefile and Casefile Presents. On this channel, I'm releasing videos on podcasting and audio production. So if you enjoy the content, you can hit the like button. I've worked with the script on two projects already, and the latest one called Pseudoside is available now on Spotify, so check it out. You can also watch a behind the scenes video on my channel. The script is sort of a hybrid software between text and audio aimed at producers who may not be as versed, as well versed in audio editing and production, but still want to do podcasts or similar products. How the script works is it generates text from the audio that you import into the software, and then you edit that text rather than audio, and the script edits the audio automatically for you. So for the latest project Pseudosite, Alice and Poppy created all of their episodes, the whole show, within the script. Now, I work in Pro Tools. My podcasting template is Pro Tools template, and that's where I do all of my work. Therefore, I needed to export the whole show from the script and import it into Pro Tools. And uh, that meant the narration and all the clips and the interviews they had in the script and they cut to the correct timeline. Now, the script offers um, an option that you can export to different softwares, not just as, uh, as a wave. But even though the software now improved a lot, I still had a few issues. And I want to show you what kind of issues and how I solve them. So let's jump to the script and Pro Tools and have a look um, at the actual audio. When it comes to the script, it is a great software for producers because you're editing your script and then it cuts the audio for you. There are still a few problems with it, like there's clicks on these sort of cuts that you've got to fade in and fade out manually if you then move the project to a different software. In this video though, I want to have a look and talk about exporting from the script to a software of your choice, which in my situation was Pro Tools. I had a few issues with it and how I sort of dealt with it. First, we need to export the whole project from the script. We can do it as a WAV file, so a stereo WAV file, and then play with it. But then, of course, if you've got a lot of tracks, you have to cut them out. Fortunately, the script allows um, exporting the full session that then you can use in a software of your choice. So when I show the script, so we're looking at episode of Pseudocide. And that's the master, so we get all the dialogues uh, there. We can see the script, right? Uh, the text of the episode. We want to export it, because when I play, it's going to play the audio. But we want to export it and import it into Pro Tools, so then I, I can do my work in post-production. How you go about it is you share and then export. And here you've got a few options. We can export as audio, like I said, sort of a stereo WAV file. Or, which is better, we want to export as AAF. And that's, uh, you know, Pro Tools slash Logic or some other software that you're using that can use these kind of files. And, you know, when I click that, I want to have it as AAF, um, include media in export, select that and then we exporting. So I've already done that. I don't want you to wait. And that's what we end up with. So let me minimize the script. So we've got the master there. And uh, you know we've got all the audio files that are in the project or supposedly. 
and we've got that AAF, AAF file. When we open it, Pro Tools ask us to create a Pro Tools session, the ones that we'll be using on the deck desktop. So when I hit create, it will create that one. So I've done that uh, just before we start recording and that's the one there. Let's minimize that and let's open what we've been created. So we've been, we've created a master PTX session. It will link to the audio files within that AAF folder that we've exported from the script. So let's open that session and it's empty. So we need to import all these tracks from uh, the episode. Let me find the Clayton episode, original audio, that was the master. We are importing from master. And that's all the voiceover, so that's all the tracks. When we hit import, it shows that three files have errors and may be corrupt. And uh, that's details um, for that information, which are corrupted, but we'll see it. I'm gonna hit manually because it will not relink it automatically and let's just minimize that for a time being. So as you can see we've got uh, 15 tracks and some of them are sort of stereo so what I would do when cleaning up the sessions was I would of course delete you know the empty ones that's some kind of noise from additional microphones and would just leave one mono. But that's not what we're doing right now. What we want to focus on is, let me flip that, the ones that I haven't linked. So we got Clayton Scratch VO that hasn't linked. We've got another one, Sarah Interview. And there was another one there. Okay. Now, let's have a look at um, the master AAF. So we got supposedly the files there and it's still not linking them. If we go to workspaces and then try to relink, um, I've got it selected, it's not um, it's not finding them, right? So, and let's, we want to relink that one you know, not found. Okay. And it says that the file is corrupt. I've tried linking the ones that are already there and it's not working. So what I've done instead is I had to go to the script, go into media library, then see which one's not linking. So we got the VO, VO2 and Sarah interview, right? So we know what we need, we, VO and VO2. What you then do is you find that file in media library. You have to then create composition from that file. That's that. And then export that com composition as an audio file, as a wave, and I've already done that. So we export that. So you've ended up with unedited file. Okay. Now, um, we got. I've exported it to desktop as a VO, and we want to relink that one link offline. So what you have to do now is go into your desktop. We got that scratch VO. Um, if we try to find links, still it's not linking. What is going on? Well, there, there is a workaround for that. So we are selecting that one because that's the file that we are relinking. Drag this one into candidates, select that, and then commit links, which forces 
that track to link to our wave commit links there we go let me just close that all of it is now linked now it doesn't work perfectly so sometimes you would relink it in some you know, weird bits or cut off the word as you can see there but you know it's better than nothing because you can extend you can fix it and uh, that's how i that's how i solved this issue the other problem i had was that because i work in 24 and sometimes the bit rate wouldn't work so the force thing wouldn't work and i was like okay i'm doing everything as i was supposed to i'm trying to relink it's still not working what i would have to do is open that wave that we've exported that one media file in my isotope and then export it in 24-bit depth uh, to match the session in pro tools and then as i export it i can even save over the original and then try to force the link and that would work so that was my workaround for this particular project i'm hoping i've been clear uh, how i sort of done it if not let me know in the comments below and i can explain it a little bit further then but in short first export the full project from the script then you have to turn it into ptx then import the files from that aaf whatever is not linking look at the name of the track or the audio file that's not relinking search it in the script in media library create a composition from it export it as a wave and then force relink in pro tools if that doesn't work uh, check the bit depth if that has to be changed to match your project, your session in Pro Tools. So as you can see, the script is a great solution for beginners. However, if you want to do a little bit more advanced audio work, then the script may not be the best option for you for creating your show. Um, but they do offer updates they update the software frequently and i'm sure a lot of these issues will be uh, solved and corrected in the near future for now i hope this video is helpful especially if you're working with the script and want to export audio from the software into your uh, audio sequencer whatever you chose to work in but that's it for today. I'm Mike Migis. If you enjoyed this video, you can check the rest of my channel on my website, mikemigas.com. For now, share or like, you can subscribe, and I'll see you later.